Stop memorizing hundreds of lead code problems and instead focus on the patterns to help you ace any interview. Today we're looking at the prefix sum pattern. Use this when you want to find cumulative sums from start to any element. Use this when you want to find frequent subarray sum queries. And finally, when you want to reuse partial sums efficiently. Let's take a look at an example. We want to find the sum of the subarray 2 to 4. However, just imagine that we have other queries. What if we wanted to find the sum of the subarray from 2 to 4, from 1 to 3, from 0 to 2, etc.? So we're going to calculate a prefix sum array by just taking the cumulative sum from 0 all the way up until that index so that we keep track of all the cumulative sums. And then finally, we're going to use it in our result. So now we're done. Now, we wanted to find the sum between indices 2 and 4, which is 3 minus 5 plus 2, which is 0. We could use the formula of the prefix sum array to calculate that response as well in constant time. This is just going to be prefix j minus prefix of i minus 1. Negative 2 minus negative 2 is indeed 0. If you'd like to learn every single lead code pattern that you absolutely need to know for all your tech interviews with coding templates and lead code questions to solve, be sure to check out my blog at blog.codeinmotion.io. If you'd like to see the Blind75 list in animated format, be sure to check out my YouTube channel.